So today I'm going to be comparing the JBL Flip 2 speakers with the Vogpal Timekeeper speakers and I'm going to be basically seeing which one's better, what's the disadvantages of both, what are the advantages of both and I'm just going to be putting them together and just seeing which one comes out basically the better one. So I'm not going to be going in depth with either of these because they've both got their own dedicated reviews which you should be able to see up there somewhere, up there. And you'll be able to see it in an annotation which should be basically up here somewhere and in the description too. But without further ado, let's get straight into the comparison. So both these speakers have a really nice design, but the timekeeper is a lot bulkier and rectangular, while the flip has a cylindrical design. The design of the timekeeper is mainly because it's made for outdoor sports where it'll be thrown around a lot and stuff. And the pots were also covered so the device can be water resistant. The Flip 2 is mainly made for listening at home or just keeping around on the table somewhere. So it doesn't have the durability or water resistance that the, that the timekeeper has. So this isn't a bad thing as such, it's just that the two speakers are made for different audiences. So they have different kind of requirements for what they have. Other than that, the positive of the JBL Flip 2 is that it projects sounds upwards instead of straight ahead like the timekeeper does so more of it will reach your ears. But the timekeeper has a massive passive radiator at the back which is supposed to help with the bass. And moving on to the sound quality, this passive radiator definitely does make the basses in the timekeeper sound a lot better than the basses in the JBL Flip 2s. It just makes it sound a lot more punchy and present, which is great. Yet the JBL Flip 2s have better sounding trebles and mids. But to be honest, neither of them sound really bad, they both sound really good. But overall, I think the JBL Flip 2 has better sound just because it has a bit of overall sound and not just for the bass. So for the sound quality, I'd definitely give it to the JBL Flip 2s, but the timekeepers still sound really great. But as these both sound really great, I'll take the design and aesthetics a lot more into consideration, as well as the functions and the price, which I'm going to be going on to next. So starting off with the functionality, both these have battery indicators, but the timekeeper takes the edge because it actually has a dedicated button to show you how much battery life the speaker has left. But the JBL Flip 2 only shows you the battery life when you're charging it, when you first switch it on or when it's about to run out. There's no other way to see how much battery life it has otherwise. The timekeeper also allows you to use the speaker as a portable battery so that you can charge your device on the go. The timekeeper also has better controls too and it allows you to skip or go back songs by long pressing the volume up or down button. And you can also connect a new device to the speaker by pressing the volume up and volume down buttons together. The JBL Flip 2 has the upper hand when it comes to connecting multiple devices though because you can actually connect to multiple devices at the same time and it will basically play whatever um, devices actually play music or sound or whatever you want to listen to basically. And you can connect a new device to the JBL Flip 2 by pressing the Bluetooth button and it won't actually stop whatever music's playing, it will just basically allow you to connect a new device to it. But the timekeeper doesn't do this, it actually disconnects the device that you were using before, before it connects to the new device, so obviously whatever music playing is going to stop. The JBL Flip 2 also has NFC while the timekeeper doesn't, and this basically allows you to easily connect a phone to the JBL Flip 2 by just tapping it against it, and this basically prevents you having to go into pairing mode on the speaker and then having to manually connect on your phone. It just makes the whole process a lot easier and relatively instantaneous, it takes about 3 seconds or so. But really, whether these features matter to you is really dependent on the person. If you're going to be the only person that's going to be using this speaker, obviously all of the multi-device connection things aren't going to really matter to you because you're going to be the only one that's actually going to be connecting to it. But for somebody who's like in a family or something and they've got lots of devices they want to connect to it, obviously having this multi-user functionality where you don't have to keep disconnecting and connecting is going to be really helpful for you. But something that's going to matter universally to people is going to be battery life and this isn't something that the speakers do actually that well. Just to get it out of the way, the JBL Flip 2 does around 5 hours and the Timekeeper does between 6 and 8 hours. And as I said before, the Flip 2 doesn't let you check the battery life so you're going to be having this thing switch off on you pretty unexpectedly a lot of the time. But for the Timekeeper at least it is a bit more expected but still Compared to some other speakers that last 10 hours plus, um, it should really be longer on both of them to be honest. This didn't really matter to me much because I usually have it at home plugged in anyway, but for people that want to bring them out and about and they want to bring them on trips and stuff like that, I'd recommend getting a portable battery to go with it, just so you can make sure that it's always able to be charged and you're not gonna, it's not going to run out on you. And at its current price, I think the Flip 2 should have a better battery life because it's actually £20 more than the Timekeeper at £55 currently compared to £35.99 on the Timekeeper. 
So I did actually buy the Flip 2 for £50 instead of £55, so the price has got up and down, so depending on if you want to get it now, get it now, but um, if you want to wait a bit, then you can wait a bit, but the price does go up and down quite a bit. But really, overall, which one you buy for you is really up to what you want to use it for. So really, which one you buy is up to you. It's kind of hard to decide between them both, and I'm actually personally torn between them. So it really depends on like whether you want to use it for bike riding, whether you want to have multiple devices connect to it at the same time, and just what your scenarios are with it, really. They're both great speakers, and I'd really like to know your opinions down below in the comments as to which one you'd pick. I'm also going to be making a poll up there, which I'm basically going to be asking which one do you like, which one's your favourite one. And be sure to tell me if you've got one of these down in the comments down below, and be sure to tell me your thoughts on it too. So, I hope you all really enjoyed this video, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.